The Bear Island campsites sit along the Asabo River in Michigan's Lower Peninsula between the small cities of Fairview and Curran. To drive to the campsites, you would take Government Road 4836. However, it's really not much of a road and more of a two-track. Here in the video is a brief glimpse of the good section of the road because it was actually really pretty driving through the big red pine stand. But the reality is farther up the road, it got very muddy, very narrow, and you can tell somebody had even been stuck in a mud hole. On top of the rough and remote drive getting back to the campsites, there's also no cell service once you get there. So if you get stuck, you better hope somebody else happens to come along or that you can walk to a nearby house, which is a few miles away. So why put these campsites in a spot that's so hard to get to? Well, they're actually not intended for campers that are going to drive to them. The campsites are intended for canoers going down the Asabo River. There are several campsites that are located along the side of the riverbank so that canoers and kayakers have a place to camp if they're doing multi-day trips. And this campground happens to be one of them that you can actually canoe to and if you're adventurous enough, you can drive to. Now, if you're going to drive here, make sure you share the space with canoers and kayakers because this is a priority campground for them. It's not meant for us to drive to and take up with our vehicles and hog a bunch of space. I'm going to fly the drone down through here and get a really nice video, hopefully, of the Asabo River that's surrounding this campsite and give you a look at just how remote this area actually is as there's not much around once I get lifted up into the air here. Because these campsites are so remote out here in the middle of nowhere down the Asabo River, they don't really come with anything other than a great location and a great view. The campsites themselves are not numbered, however they would comfortably hold five or six tents here in this location. There's no picnic tables, there's no designated fire rings, and you don't get a hand pump for water or outhouses. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about coming to this area. It really would be considered a roughing it situation, assuming that you didn't drive here and have the ability just to hop back into town. Now, in my opinion, the perks of staying at this campsite definitely outweigh the downfalls. You should not have to worry about a ton of people staying here as this campsite is very remote and hard to get to. The people who are going to stay here are typically going to be very respectful of the space because they're going to be people who are spending the night along the side of the river that want to help preserve the area. Another huge upside to staying here is that you have the opportunity for the entire stay to fish a premier trout stream that we have here in Michigan and the fishing through this area is absolutely excellent. I was just talking to an angler that was back downstream a little ways and he said he's been limiting out on trout almost every single day that he's been out here fly fishing. So the opportunity for that is definitely here and even if you're not coming out to fish, it's still pretty awesome to see the trout surface and jump just down the bank from this campsite. Also if you decide to stay here at one of these remote campsites, please keep in mind you're in bear territory and even if there are no bear, there's going to be raccoons and other critters, so protect your food and hang your food from a tree.